Welcome to tonight's contest, where the Rochester Zebras take on the Tippecanoe Valley Vikings. Tonight's broadcast is brought to you in part by Shepherd Chevrolet. Shepherd Chevrolet Buick in Rochester is your friendly hometown dealer. At Shepherd Chevrolet Buick in Rochester, it's our customers that come first. The sales process was very simple, very easy. It's a very nice and friendly atmosphere. Uh, they've always worked with me on my, my trades and where I bought. Uh, there wasn't any haggling. It's where I really wanted to be and uh, I'll keep coming back. Stop out today and let Shepherds help you find your next vehicle. Dribbled early to, uh, to Indiana State for softball, and kids can just focus on just playing. They don't right. have to impress anybody. Right. You know, in, in all your sports, you can relax and play and, and try to be the best you can for your school and, and get that out of the way. So, Well, congratulations exactly. to Tanner Andrews. Yeah. And, of course, uh, that's, that's great news for Becky Malco. Congratulations to Becky as well. The Rochester Zebras in their home blacks and the Tipping New Valleys in their home whites. So it'll be Andrews and Garrett to jump center. Rochester will go left to right. Valley will go right to left. Tony Stasiak, I'm David Musselman. The varsity game is underway as the Vikings control the trip. Robbie Groom in the paint. He's cut off by the defense. Outside to Little John. He'll fire a three off the mark. No good. And the long rebound comes down to Garrick. Alec Garrick now gives to Medina, who gives it back to Garrick, and he'll bring it up the floor. Man-to-man -man defense for the Vikings. Holland works left side inside the, three, uh, the uh, free throw line. Now kicks it out to Garrick on the left baseline. Garrett drives against Britton, cut off by the defense. Turnaround jumper on the way is off the back of the backboard. And the rebound to Britton. Logan Britton gives off to Little John, who gives him the wing to Groom. Groom pass down low to Andrews. Tanner is fouled on the shot. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Foul's going to be on Garrett, his first. Obviously, team's first this early in the game. You know, Hats off to Logan Britton. I don't know if you heard about this or not. Valley, Tanner Andrews, hit the buzzer beater against Plymouth to take it into overtime. Typically, New Valley then, as Tanner Andrews hits the first free throw, hits the game winner. Logan Britton hits the game winner against uh, Plymouth. The play was not drawn up for him. You could have probably thought of three or four other guys I would have went to first, but good for him. The second one missed. And that's credit to your kids when you're playing, when you can draw something up and they have the wherewithal to go to other options and everybody's ready to make a play. You know, this kid works his tail off. He's the workhorse. He's the unsung hero sometimes. And now he finally gets an opportunity to, and that's a shot that Tony's going he'll never forget. Absolutely. Especially against Plymouth. <laughs> Ball loose. Garrett picks it up, and he is hit hard by Little John. It'll be Jared Little John's first foul. Seven minutes to play in the first quarter. Valley up one nothing. You know, speaking of uh, Plymouth, uh, Mac Mercer out of that game, some some in, you know, maybe coming back, but uh, some copper issues in in the, his bloodstream causing weakness. Really? Yeah, some kind of disease he inherited. Copper. Yeah, it has to do with uh, how the body processes copper. Huh. Causes. I thought he had surgery. Well, that was part of it, but this is this has come along. I see. Okay. Feeds down low to Medina. Does Garrick. Medina jump stop. Rises up, shot no good, rebound fault for, going to have a tie-up. Rochester will keep possession underneath their own basket. You know, loose balls, offensive rebounds are big in these kinds of games because they're momentum builders. You get an extra shot, you get offensive put back, uh, tight, contested rivalry games, loose balls and offensive rebounds usually play a big role. Medina looks to get it in, does so to Kennedy, now top to Garrick. Garrick now in the paint, goes to the basket, shot is blocked out of bounds by Logan Britton. Oh, and Britton gives him <laughs> a little stare down. <laughs> Man's feeling pretty good about himself after recent, <laughs> recent times. Long, a lot of basketball to play to start doing something like that. one nothing, Tippecanoe New Valley. Six and a half to play in the first quarter. Medina will look to get it in. Does so to Streeton. Streeton against Groom. Pushes off. Backs his way behind the three-point line on the wing. Now to Garrick high on the right side. Alec holds. Works against Britton. Works inside the three-point line. Drives the baseline. Goes to the basket. Shot blocked from behind by Tanner Andrews. But... We're going to say Tanner Andrews picked up a foul in the body, and that's going to send Alec Garrick to the line to shoot two. And, of course, that's always a big foul when you get one of your key players, such as Tanner Andrews, to get one here at a minute and a half in. Obviously, you have to play smart. You don't want to pick up that second one too early. Uh, Alec Garrick looking to get going offensively, trying yeah. to be aggressive here early on. Garrick's first one is good, and we're tied at one. Always interesting when you get rematch games, not just rivalry games, but rematch in general is, you know, two good coaches you get to work on. Okay, this went well. Let's try this. Let's try this tweak. See the chess match early on, and you can kind of see both teams kind of feeling each other out a little bit. Second one's no good. Tanner Andrews is the rebound. Gives off from Groom. 
Robbie Groom fills the middle of the floor, gives right side to Zolman. Zolman against the man-to-man defense to Tanner Andrews. He cuts through the line, puts it off the glass, and good. Tanner Andrews has all three, and Valley up 3-1 to one with 6.05 to play in the first quarter. And I can't remember. You talk about how things have changed since the last time these two teams met at Northwood. I can't remember the matchup of Britton and Alec Gehrig in that game. Obviously, Coach Patrick saw something that would work, and boy, Logan Britton just give a shoulder block to Alec Gehrig. And now we're going to have a push in the back by the Tippecanoe Valley Vikings. And is that going to be on Groom? Well, yes, Robbie Groom, his first, the Valley team third foul. So Kennedy will be the trigger man baseline left for the Zebras. He'll look to get it in around to Tanner Andrews. Bounce pass into Gehrig. Gehrig in the left corner behind the arc. Drives in the paint. Rises up over Britton. Shots no good off the mark. Tanner Andrews comes skying in for the rebound and grabs it and runs. Middle of the floor is Andrews. Oh. Hesitates. Drives. Britton on the baseline. Jump pass to the right wing to Zolman. Zolman out of Groom. And Valley will reset on the left wing to, to Andrews. Andrews works against Gehrig. Lot pass down a little Britton. Logan Britton puts it off the glass and good. <laughs> Coach Patrick mentioned the screen and roll and win that. That's exactly what that play was. I wonder if that wasn't something similar to what they called against Plymouth. That worked perfectly as it did there. Kennedy, a long three is off the mark. No good. Offensive rebound to Garrick. And Alex gets it out to Screeton. Five to one, Tippecanoe New Valley. Five to play in the first quarter. Screeton, leaner at the free throw lines. Off the back of the rim, no good. Ball tipped around, and I think Taylor Medina is going to be called for over the back. Yeah, it's going to be his first team second. 5-0-1 to play first quarter. Tippecanoe New Valley leading 5-1 here at Tippecanoe New Valley High School. Tony Stasiak, I'm David Musselman. I just found out, because Tony told me, that the makeup game for the Rochester Lady Zebras and Judson is Tuesday night. Same night, the Rochester guys travel to Caston to play the Comets. That also happened last year. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay. Dolman drives against Medina. And Taylor Medina is going to be called for a foul in the shot, and that's going to... And Taylor Medina just picked up foul number two. He's going to send Chaney Zolman to the free throw line to shoot two, and that's going to send Coach Reinhold to the bench, and Brett Abbott will come into the game. Yeah, so the Zebras get a little smaller uh, height-wise, but, you know, maybe a little more guard-oriented, maybe a little more athletic, see if uh, Coach might dial up the pressure here full or half-court with this uh, a little bit quicker lineup. So Medina comes out, and Brett Abbott will come in for the first time tonight. Brett Abbott for the Rochester Zebras is a 5'11 sophomore. And Christina Hughes is going to come out of the stands and look at the right hand of Taylor Medina. Cheney Zolman hits for, uh, both free throws, and the uh, Vikings are up 7-1. to one. Screeton gives them in the corner to Gehrig. Back to Screeton high on the left side, out of Kennedy. Quickly to Abbott. Abbott, bounce pass top to Gehrig. Just inside the arc, his jumper short, and Tanner Andrews with the rebound. Andrews, middle of the floor, run. Left side to Zolman, looks to the three, passes it up, now top of Groom, swings right side to Little John. Little John in the lane to Britton, and Britton found the shot by Kennedy, and he'll go back to the line to shoot too. I tell you what, here's what I see already. 4-14 to play in the first quarter. Logan Britton is inside the head of Gear Alley Gehrig. And uh, obviously, it's, it's Valley's plan of attack to attack the basket. And we've played four minutes, and we have a combined seven fouls called. It's going to be a long night. We're going to go deep in the benches if this continues. But both teams are recognizing what the officials are calling and look like they're attacking the basket. Valley just having more success than Rochester at this point. Britton hits one of two to make the score 8-1. to one. Tipping a new Valley of 4-10 to play in the first quarter. And it looks like, and then Alec Gehrig fires a three. It's blocked by Little John, picked up by Groom. Ball loose. Groom gets the back, gives it to Tanner Andrews. You know, Coach Patrick said in the pregame, he talked about how bad the free throw shooting was at Tippecanoe Valley. So I'm sorry, at the Plymouth. And they're kind of going down that same path right now. Four for six early on. I mean, that's not bad, but first, four misses or two misses here in the first quarter. Zolman on the right wing. 66%. We'd have two left losses if we could have hit that figure. <laughs> Good call. Britton back to the way in. He's fouled again by Kennedy. Logan Britton, who is virtually, Tony, non-existent in the Northwood tournament, has made his statement here in the first quarter. 
both offensively and defensively. He's going back to the line, and more importantly, Luke Kennedy, now Taylor Medina, have two personal fouls, and Coach Reinhold will use a 30-second timeout. You're listening to High School Basketball, 92.1 WROI. minutes to play in the first quarter. Typical New Valley up 8-1. to one. And after uh, the Zebra timeout, they'll go back to the free throw line where they've already attempted six free throws. And Logan Britton will go back to shoot two. But, but yeah, Zebra's in some serious foul trouble. Medina's already off the floor getting his hand looked at, but he's got two fouls. Luke just picked up his second foul. Those are your two big guys from Rochester. Luke Kennedy's still in the game. There's 3.33 left in the first quarter, and he's got two fouls. I don't know if Coach has dialed up a zone or something to try to protect Luke, but uh, he's got to be extremely careful. Matt Basham will come back in. Will come in for the first time tonight for the Rochester Zebras. He'll replace Luke Kennedy. Matt, Tony, put, put your put your coaching hat on here a minute. You're down eight to one. Three and a half to play in the first quarter. Your two bigs now are out. Would you consider, even though you're down now by eight because uh, Britton hit one of two on that trip? You hold the ball. Let's get out of the first half. Maybe. You know, you talk about surviving. Um, you know, if you can, you know, this is obviously not the kind of scenario Coach probably had drawn up in any of his probably first 20 scenarios he played out yeah. in his head. But um, Zebras just have to kind of tread water here a little bit. Maybe work the ball, get some good looks. Straight the long jumper from inside the arc goes. Yeah, Carter Street, that helps. That's a big shot in the arm there. You can get that guy to hit a couple buckets. Andrews flies in over Gehrig, and it goes in for two. And you can tell Alec Gehrig didn't want to pick up his second. He just let him have the glass. 11-3, to Tippecanoe New Valley. And, you know, Andrews knows Gehrig's foul situation as well, and they're probably going to continue to go to him as long as the Zebras are playing man-to-man. Gehrig against Britton. Drives him into the paint. Throws up a tough shot. No good. Bash with the rebound. Gives to Allen on the baseline outside to Screeton. Screen quickly high on the left side to Holland. 2.38 to play in the first quarter. 11-3, to Tippecanoe New Valley. Garrick holds above his head against Britton in the man-to-man defense. The bash on top of the key, left side to Abbott. Abbott feeds to the baseline and in on the block to Garrick. Garrick against Britton. Gives to Abbott. Kicks it out to Streeton. Streeton against Groom. Gets a pick. Goes to the free throw line. Kicks it outside to Abbott. Down low to Basham. Basham leaner over Andrews. Andrews is blocked. Kenner Andrews is the basketball. Left side of the floor. He'll go in for the layup. And it's good. Kenner Andrews. And it's 13-3, Tippecanoe New Valley with 2.05 to play in the first quarter. Garrick on the right wing. Andrews with seven. To Holland. Feeds down low to Basham. Basham against Tanner Andrews. Quickly to the left side to Street in the left corner. Street on the blocks to Holland. Alex now brings it out and gives Street on top of the key. Takes the shot, drives it, gives to Holland on the baseline. Works against Little John. Now to Abbott. Right side to Screeton. Tough pass to handle. Basham back to Screeton. Screeton to the wing. Gives in the corner to Holland with a minute 35 to play. In the first quarter, Valley up by 10. Backdoor pass to Screeton. Leaner in the lane is off the mark. No good. Andrews with the rebound. And Andrews loses the basketball. It's going to be tied up. Valley going to keep it. Nice play by the Zebras. Good look by Alec Holland for the backdoor look. It's probably a shot Carter should use the glass as your momentum is going forward at such a high rate of speed. It's a lot easier to use the glass and then try to finesse it in. Brandon Camp comes in for the first time, and Alec Holland is in. Ben Shriver comes in as well for uh, Tippecanoe New Valley, and also Gavin Buzzard in for the Vikings. 125 to play, first quarter. The Vikings by 10 at 13 to 3, and they've got the basketball going to our left. There's that 2-3 zone that you talked about, Tony, that Rochester is now in. Yeah, the Zebras are really small, really no true post players. Maybe Basham, but he's undersized as a post player uh, for the Zebras. They've got a Maybe to kind of shorten this game, slow this game down, at least make Valley make an adjustment. Well, Britton is out of the game, which helps the matchup a little bit, a little bit. And on the entry pass, Tanner Andrews was fouled by Brandon Camp for the Zebras. Valley will be shooting free throws the rest of the half now. <laughs> 106 to play first quarter. Law pass into Andrews without coming in down. He shoots it while above the rim, and it goes in. And now the Vikings are up by 12 at 15-3. to 3. Streeton drives it inside, kicks it out to Camp. Camp 
in the paint. Gives to Abbott behind the wing or behind the arc right side. Down low to Basham. Gives off to Abbott and is knocked out of bounds. Last touch by the Zebras. So they go back to Tippecanoe Valley with 49 and a half to play in the first quarter. You know, one of these things in these kinds of games is kids start to press and you get down and you have to realize there's no 12-point shot. You're not going to get it back in one possession. You've got to just chip away. There's a lot of game left. Kids kind of get wrapped up in things they got to force or take quick shots or take things that aren't there. Zebra's going to dial up a little pressure here, try to maybe change tempo of the game. Tanner Andrews comes out of the game, but Britton is back in. 40 seconds. Zolman against the double team. The half-court trap left side to Groom. In the corner to Zolman. Wide open three from the baseline. Yep. 18-3. Valley with 30 seconds to play in the first quarter. Streeton to Garrig. 26 seconds. Garrig against Britton. Takes him to the paint. Fall away jumper in the... Uh, Lane is no good, and buzzer to the rebound. 16 seconds from behind. Brandon uh, makes that. Uh, Brett Abbott's going to pick up a foul as he knocks a buzzer to the floor, so that's going to send Gavin Buzzer to the line to shoot one and the bonus for his Vikings. Boy, this is... I don't know what the worst-case scenario might be, but this has got to be close to it. got to be close, you're, you're right. Serious foul trouble. You're not scoring. Offense isn't really clicking. Um... See what coach can kind of dial up and at the uh, first quarter break. Just got to kind of survive here now. Free throw by Buzzard is good. A line drive free throw goes in. Tanner Andrews comes back into the game. Also, Little John back on, back in and grooves a sit. Tony Stasiak, I'm David Musselman. 15.2 to play in the first quarter. And one more free throw coming for Buzzard. Looking coach, to push this to a 17-point lead. Coach Patrick was concerned about his team's free throws. Uh, they've now shot 10. <laughs> Uh, they're 6 for 10 just in this first quarter. The free throw is missed by Buzzard. Garrick has it with 6. Top of the key. Now in the corner to camp with 3. Now stolen by Little John. Little John. Layup is before the layup. We're going to have a foul by Streeton. That's going to send Jared Little John to the line for one in the bonus with zeros on the clock. They say uh, to Little John, it was on the floor before the shot, the foul occurred. And Little John will shoot free throws. First quarter after the first miss will be over. Little John misses, and that's the end of the first quarter. After one, Tippecanoe New Valley leads 19-3. You're listening to High School Guys Basketball, 92.1 WROI. Shepard Chevrolet Buick in Rochester is the place for all of your automotive service needs. I've been coming to Shepherds for service approximately five or six years. My husband drives the Honda, um, 2004 I believe, so it isn't brand new, and he brings it here. We get our tires here, um, oil changes, whatever needs to be done, they take care of. We have a good history with the Shepherd family, so we're happy to come here. The Vikings have been all Vikings in the first quarter. They're up 19 to three as we go to the second, and the Zebras will start with the basketball. As Holland across the timeline, Vikings are still in that man-to-man -man defense. Taylor Medina back in the game, as is Luke Kennedy. And the pass is knocked away, but right back to Kennedy. Loses the handle in the lane. It's going to be tied up, and Zebras are going to give it away again. Zebras just can't catch a break. I mean, miss a shot, but it looks like they're going to get a loose ball and a bounce pass to an easy layup and finally get a, get a decent break here. And even that kind of gets fumbled by Luke and then a resultant tie-up and then a loose possession. Just one of those nights. So the Vikings have it up by 16, Shriver to Britton. Back quickly to Little John. Back to Britton on the right elbow, to Little John behind the arc in the right wing. Now left side to Buzzard, quickly to Andrews. Tanner Andrews against Basham, look out. Takes him to the baseline, and the pass is, his pass is knocked out of bounds by the Zebras. It'll stay with the Vikings baseline right. Uh, Andrews kid, I mean, the kid can just create. I mean, he's quick off the dribble, he's got strength, he's got power, and he can also create for other teammates. A lot of pass inside it. Andrews, Tanner Andrews puts it off the glass, and he's got two more, and it's 21 to three. 11 for Andrews. Does that surpass what he had in the first game? Uh, probably. Long two-point shot by Kennedy goes. You know what? I can't remember for sure. I mean, there was only 45 score total. Yeah, true. Good point. And Britton had 15 of them, or 18 of them. The, the half-court trap just about worked for the Zebras. Tanner Andrews, 18-footer from the baseline, is off the mark. No good. And the rebound to Medina. Tanner Medina gives off to Holland, and Rochester runs to our right. 21-5. to 
Tippecanoe New Valley. Medina on the right wing against Britain. Goes to the baseline. Out to camp. Long three for the Zebras. No good. Batch with the rebound. The putback is no good. And now Little John to the rebound. Ahead to Britain. Wide open. Oh, yeah, I think he really wanted to try to dunk that. Lost the ball on the way up. And just like it has gone all night for Tippecanoe New Valley. Goes in. Medina's shot quickly on the other side of the floor is no good. And then the ball's lost out of bounds. Last touch by Rochester. And the Zebras will take another timeout. It's a 60. You're listening to High School Basketball, 92.1 WROI. We've got credit. Come and get it. Mike Anderson, Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Rochester, has your back when it comes to financing a car. We finance almost everyone. Credit challenged? Come and get it. Bad credit or no credit? Come and get it. Why are we so sure we can finance you? Mike Anderson owns the finance company. There's no middleman. Let Mike Anderson give you the fresh start you deserve today. And right now, during the Big Finish 2013, is your best chance. Choose from hundreds of new and certified pre-owned cars at Mike Anderson Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, all prepared to sell out. Like a new 2014 Dodge Dart SE for only $19,303. Mike Anderson Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram is waiting to finance your next car at 1702 Main Street in Rochester or at MikeAnderson.com. Remember, we've got credit. Come and get it at Mike Anderson Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. To qualify buyers with approved credit, see dealer for details. Zebra Basketball, WROI. 6-18 to play in the first half. The Tippecanoe Valley Vikings leading 23-5. And after the Rochester timeout, the Vikings will have it going to our left. Tony Stasiak, I'm David Musselman. Zebras, as we talked about, point of no return basically here. Luke and, and Medina both have two fouls, but there's no sense saving them. I mean, this, this game gets real out of control. you, you got to kind of go for it right now. Half-court trap. Britain is getting knocked down. Kennedy picks up a loose ball. Turnover tipping New Valley. Rochester has it now going to all right. Holland, top to Kennedy. Kennedy against Andrews. One dribble, now to Basham high on the right side. Basham against Shriver. Takes him to the block. Outside now to Medina. Kicks it out to Holland. Rochester reset. Holland inside the arc. Left side. Out to Kennedy. Three over Tanner Andrews. Is off the back of the iron. No good. And the ball is fought for. Safe from going out of bounds. Right into the hands of Little John. And now Valley runs. Up 23-5. to five. Now we got several loose on the floor. Or actually several on the floor. I think Basham got one in the uh, midsection. He's good, down. Good call. <laughs> Tanner Andrews is down. He comes up limping a little bit. No foul called. There was no foul called. Both kids ran into each other hard. The ball's loose. We got two kids laying on the floor. No foul called. I'm not. Well, and Rochester gets possession. Okay. I think the uh, officials may have peeked at the scoreboard at the end of the first quarter and realized, hey, fellas, if we continue fouls at this pace, we're going to be here a long night. night. <laughs> Straighten against the man-to-man -man defense. Works against room. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't call fouls to make it run over one way or another. Yeah, well, yeah. there probably should have been a foul there. Kennedy gets on the block. Quick turnaround jumper for Britain is good. You know, this is one of those times you just got to play. So, Luke, just play. Let's, let's don't worry about the score. Get stops and scores. Run good offense. Play good defense. Try to get loose balls. Let's just play. Try to cut in the lead by halftime. Don't don't get caught looking at the scoreboard too much. Shriver over Abbott. No good. Ball tipped around. Kennedy comes out of there with it. Has it stripped from behind by Logan Britton. Oh. Britton, top of the key. Slows up. Gives to Groom. Groom to a cutting Shriver. Layup is good. 25-7. to 4.40 to play in the second quarter. Garrick has it now against... Zoman passes to Streeton. Streeton holds against Groom. Baseline shot for Canada uh, for Derek is no good. And then Kennedy is fouled on the rebound by Logan Britton. Going to be and Britton's I, first team fourth. Yeah, and I think that that would I think that uh, matchup right there could get a little chippy, regardless what the score is as we go deeper into this game. That's true. I mean, nobody's going to back down in this game, regardless of the score. Valley's not going to stop. <laughs> push the ball. We're not going to back down. Right. 4.25 to play in the first half. 25-7. to Tippecanoe New Valley. Screen behind the arc. Against Room. Top to Abbott. To Holland. Long two. No good. Ball tipped around. Andrews comes out of there with it. Gives to Groom. Robbie Groom for Tippecanoe New Valley. Running to our left. 
Now hands off to Zolman, who's been quiet in this half. To Andrews at the elbow. Out to Zolman. Drives the paint. Kicks it outside to Buzzard. His 18 footer is good. Captain Buzzard. And now the lead is 20 in favor of Tipping New Valley with under four to play in the first half. Straight and holds. Passes to Kennedy on the baseline. Out to Holland. The straight and left side. Looks to the three. Against Robbie Groom, now to Kennedy. Quick three over Tanner Andrews. Nope, short. Rebound to Streeton. Streeton is fouled on the putback. Or will that be before the shot? Nope, it will be on the putback, yep. And I believe Logan Britton is going to pick up the foul. It's going to be Britton's second. Valley's fifth team foul. You know, we talked, kind of a fine line, we talked about we, we appreciate Luke's ability to extend the defense and shoot that, but I don't know that you want to get in a sense where Luke Kennedy is shooting more threes than post moves. I mean, I think it should be a compliment, but uh, I, I still think Luke can do some work inside, especially now with uh, with Logan Britton sitting on the bench. I think he can maybe go inside and do some damage down there. Noah Dahlquist comes in for the first time tonight. And Kennedy will sit. Streeton hit his first one. He'll have one more. Carter eyes the second one, lets it fly, and it's no good in and out. Tanner Andrews, another rebound. 27 to 8, Tipping New Valley. The Vikings run. Shriver in the paint, kicks it out to Zolman. To Andrews, top of the key at the free throw line. Andrews, couple of dribbles, kicks it out to Groom. Long three for the Vikings, short. Rebound tipped around. And Street comes out of there with it. Uh -oh. Gives the head to Noah Dahlquist and over his head and out of bounds. That's one of those you'd like to have back because even if the big man catches for out there, you only want to throw it to the big man if he can just take one dribble or no dribbles and finish. Right. Where he was going to catch it at the three-point line, he wasn't going to go anywhere and probably shouldn't go anywhere <laughs> with the dribble out there. Shriver pass to Buzzard to Groom. Groom holds above his head. Three minutes to play in the first half. Andrews bulls his way into the lane. Throws up a baby hook shot, no good. Street to the rebound. 27 to 8, Vikings. Garrig now with the basketball. He works against Zolman. To Abbott. To Holland. Down low to Dahlquist. His shot is blocked by Tanner Andrews. Now to Buzzard. To Groom now. No one's got to be able to elevate on that shot because you know Andrews will on defense. Yeah. He does get up in a hurry, that's for sure. Nice head fake would have been good there too, probably. Good learning, learning lesson for Noah. Tough to well, learn, but when you go back and look at the tape, uh, it can be a valuable experience. Pass is thrown away. Garrig has it. Fills the middle of the floor. Garrig, leaner off the glass, no good. But we're going to have a blocking foul on Buzzard, and that's going to send Alec Garrig to the line for two. Now, Tony, let's let's go back to that statement a little bit. You told you said a learning opportunity once they go back to look at the film. How important is it to learn before you look at the film? Well, you can. I mean, you're learning in practice, but I don't know how many times in his career or even in practice that Noah Dahlquist has been able to go up against the likes of Tanner Andrews. I mean, this is this is just different than what he's... I mean, maybe he's played against Luke, and that's a pretty close, but, you know, when you can see live action, it's one thing to work on your post moves in practice, but when you're out here against Valley working on post moves against Tanner Andrews, I think you can learn a lot from that as well. There's yeah. a difference between game speed and then Valley-Rochester game speed. Yeah, yeah. One of two, that trip for Gary. Two minutes to play, first half. Goldman for three. Nope, short. Re oh, rebound. Tipped out of bounds for the Zebras. Holland and Gary fighting for it. It's knocked out of bounds, so Valley will keep it. Camp back into the game, and Alec Gary will sit down. Also, Little John back in, and Buzzer to sit down. Two minutes to play, first half, 27 to 9, Tippecanoe New Valley. Little John looks to get it in. Got to hurry. Bounce pass into Shriver in the corner. Shriver goes to the basket. Lane wide open. Throws up a shot. It's good. Shriver. Boy, that was almost like parting of the sea because there was nobody left in the paint to stop Shriver, and he went in for a quick, easy bucket. And Camp fires a long three for the Zebras. Three by Brandon Camp. 29-12, Tippecanoe Valley. 100 seconds to play in the first half. Shriver on the block against Abbott. Knocked down, no call. Out to Groom, three from the right wing is no good. Andrews with the rebound. He has it stripped away. Ball Ruth, he puts it up on the reverse shot, and it goes. Tanner Andrews! 31 to 12, Vikings. A minute 20 to play in the first half. Abbott to Streeton. Streeton holds against Groom. Now takes him to the elbow, kicks it out to Abbott. Camp, camp, fakes, drives, stops, rises up. Shot blocked out of back. Oh, we're going to have a foul first. I beg your pardon. So, 
That's going to send Brandon Camp to the line to shoot, I believe, one in the bonus with 109 to play in the first half. And Matt Basham coming back in for the Rochester Zebras. Also, Logan Britton coming back in for the Vikings. Zolman's first, uh, Valley seventh. So Brandon Camp going to go to the line. Chance for one and one. One oh nine to play. First half. Camp first free throw. Good. He'll have one more. Brandon trying to build on his uh, strong showing against Whitco last Friday, where he just missed double figures with nine. So I thought he played extremely well. Uh, nice boost. Uh, off the bench for the Zebras' energy, and obviously if he can continue to nail that three-point shot, something they need. Second one, no good. Britton with a rebound and loses the handle. Boy, they had white Ben Shriver wide open down low. Here's one for you. The Zebras have been to the line four separate times tonight. Every shooter's been one for two, made the first, missed the second. Shriver wide open, jumpers inside the paint is good again. Say it again. Uh, four different times the Zebras have been to the line. Every time the shooter's been one for two, making the first, missing the second. <laughs> Carter Streeton throws up a shot off balance and it goes to make the score 33 to 15 with 38 seconds. Zebras need to do something about the interior defense. Valley shot chart for the first half is going to look flooded with filled in circles about from 10 feet in. Yeah. Outside shots, but they have been uh, just tearing up inside the paint inside 10 feet. Robbie Groom is Tanner Andrews standing wide open in the paint and there's another shot in the paint that goes Tanner and it goes for Tanner Andrews to make it a 20 point game again with 15 seconds. 15 points for Mr. Andrews. He's equal to Zebra's output. Nine seconds. Holland holds with seven. Holland with six. Top to Camp with five. Camp loses the handle, gets it back. Now to Abbott with two. The treat with one. Zebra's get a shot off at the buzzer. It's a three. It's no good. At halftime, the Vikings lead the Rochester Zebras 35 to 15. You're listening to Zebra Basketball 92.1 WROI. For over a century, Rochester Telephone Company has been connecting our community, family to family, friend to friend, business to business. It is the people of RTC, your friends, your neighbors, who have made the difference. Times may have changed, but our tradition of excellent service still remains in our family of dedicated employees that serve you. RTC, a part of Rochester's past, present, and future. At Shepherd Chevrolet Buick in Rochester, it's our customers that come first. Well, the sales process was very simple, very easy. It's a very nice and friendly atmosphere. Uh, they've always worked with me on my, my trades and where I bought. Uh, there wasn't any haggling. It's where I really wanted to be and uh, I would keep coming back. Stop out today and let Shepherds help you find your next vehicle. RTC makes it easy with the new Triple Play Combo. Now you can enjoy the best of cable, internet, and phone for one low package price. Get all of the features that they want at a price you can afford. The Triple Play Combo, another great offer from RTC. here at Tippecanoe Valley High School. The Vikings own a 20-point lead, 35-15. to 15, And the Vikings will start with the basketball going to our right. Tony Stasiak on David Musselman. Zebras coming back out in that half-court man-to-man. And it looks like the original five for both teams. That's an aggressive man-to-man, -to -man too, uh, for the Rochester Zebras. Andrews against Garrick. Andrews at the elbow, right. Looks back door to Britton on the baseline. To Andrews at the free throw line, backs his way in, throws up a shot, it's good. I don't think he can miss tonight. I mean, everything, literally, off balance, good shots. I mean, credit kid, but, man, everything he throws up <laughs> is working out. 37 to 15. His, his leaping ability amazes me. Quick. I mean, it's just, yeah. Off the ground in a hurry. Yeah. And that's really tough to defend when you don't see that and probably won't see it the rest of the year. And he doesn't need a lot of steps to get to that either. You know, he pogo jumps kind of really quick. He, he, off a of half a step, he's up in the air. Yeah. Tough shot by Holland. Doesn't go. Valley grabs a rebound. Groom has it. To Zolman. Chaney Zolman. Law pass inside to Andrews. Andrews to Britton at the free throw line. Kicks it out. Now to Little John. Bounce pass. 
to Groom. Baseline, Zolman. Zolman against Medina. Gives back to Groom quickly to Little John. High on the left side against Rochester's man-to-man defense. Pass pass to Tanner Andrews. Now Little John again, top of the key. Zolman, wide open three, left wing. Good. 40 to 15. Shane Zolman for three. Inside game working and the outside game working right now for Tippecanoe Valley. Zolman has eight. He's got Valley's only two made three pointers. He's taking three. Yep. Holland left wing. Dribbles to the top of the key. Now at the elbow. Now in the paint. Goes to the basket. Lays it in for two. That's an aggressive move by Holland. First two of the night. And it's 40 to 17. Six minutes to play in the third quarter. Maybe only a second or third shot, too. Yeah, he hasn't taken many. You're right. He's been pretty quiet. Little John holds in the corner. At the elbow to Britton. Right side to Groom. Groom again, Screeton. Down low to Chaney. Chaney outside to Logan Britton. He'll take a jumper from the free throw line. No good. One of the few shots that have not fouled uh, fell tonight for the Rochester Zebras. And now Garrick has it. He hesitates. Now accelerates. Goes to the basket. Throws the layup. It's good. Now the Zebra's getting a little more confidence in the paint. Yep, back-to-back scores. See if he can get back-to-back stops. Andrews against Garrig. Top to Zolman. Left side to Groom. Now quickly to Little John. Gives back to Zolman on the way against Medina. Looking for Groom on the block. Can't find him. Now to Andrews. Fakes left. Goes right. Spin move in the lane. Loses the handle. Out to a wide open. Little John for three. Good. Jerry Little John for three. 43 to 19. Three minutes gone here in the third quarter. Gehrig to Screeton. Runs around a pick. Top of the key. Works it right side inside the arc. Now back to back outside. Hesitates. Takes Britton to the hole. And it's blocked from behind. Picked up by Groom. Valley runs to our right. Groom, middle of the floor. Outside to Zolman. Three on the way. Left side. Good again. Zebras will take a 60-second timeout. You're listening to Rochester Basketball, 92.1 WROI. Forty to play in the third quarter. Typically, New Valley Vikings up 46 to 19. And after the Rochester timeout, they'll have the basketball going to our left. Tony Stasiak, I'm David Musselman. Well, the helter skelter play on that end, I thought that time yeah. resulted in a, a look by Little Johnny just knocked it down. I was going to say, the good news is Zebras have kind of cut off the paint. The bad news is they've opened up the, uh, the three point <laughs> shot here. You know, three threes in this uh, quarter now for Valley. They'd only hit one in, in the first half, and now they've got three here in the first four minutes of the third quarter. Four and a half to play in the third quarter, 46 to 19, typically New Valley. Zebras of the basketball. Garrick holds in the center circle against Britton. His jumper from 15 feet in and out, no good. Groom with the rebound, and Robbie Groom runs. Gives ahead to Logan Britton, and he travels before the layup. Good idea. I don't think he was as close as what he thought he was. Yeah. So Rochester will get it back. Very few turnovers tonight for either squad. Screeton runs the point against, Rod, uh, against the Tippecanoe Valley man-to-man defense. Bounce pass to Garrig. Behind the arc, right side against Logan Britton. To Kennedy, his three is short, no rim. Screen to the rebound to Medina. Medina against Zolman, back to Screeton on the rest, right baseline. Gives down low to Garrig. Garrig against Zolman, reverse layup is no good. And Little John with the rebound. Jared Littlejohn through the center circle, works right side to Tanner Andrews. Andrews picks up his dribble, gives to Groom in the left corner. He drives the paint, kicks it to Britton. Now to Littlejohn. 
Little John, oh, good pass. Gives a Logan Britton layup is good. Pass goes right between two zebras to a wide open Britton, and he puts it in. Either a miscommunication or lack of communication. Two guys ended up on one. Nobody rotated over. Yep. Either overhelped or underhelped, which way ever you want to look at it. 48 to 19. Rochester the basketball. Holland bounce pass top to Gehrig. Stands against Britton. Takes him right into the paint. Throws up a shot. It's no good. Rebound to Little John. Little John again runs for Tippecanoe New Valley. Right side of the floor. Bounce pass to Tanner Andrews. Andrews, cross court pass to Zolman. One dribble now to Little John. Back to Groom. Groom resets on the left side for the Vikings. Gives down the little box to Andrews. Look out. Tanner Andrews, baby hook in the lane. In and out, no good. And Kennedy with a rebound for Rochester. Yeah, can't miss. <laughs> 48-19, Tippecanoe New Valley, 2.45 to play in the third. Three for Garrig is short. Rebound to Logan Britton, quickly to Tanner Andrews. Andrews, right side of the floor. Goes to the basket, throws up a shot, it's good. Sidestep Kennedy, praying for a charge. Wasn't going to get it. And an awkward shot goes in. Another awkward shot goes in. Yeah. Garrig, quick pull-up jumper, short again. Rebound tipped around. Logan Britton has it and travels. Almost appears the uh, referees have gone into the uh, blowout mode of how they're going to call this game because there were several fouls. Had they called it the same way, there's no way. There's been about five, six foul calls if they had called it here in the third quarter like they did in the first half. Zebras wouldn't have gotten so much foul trouble, but this is they'll never admit it. But they they officiate to the score. Yeah, yeah. right. And it is obvious right here. I mean, they've directly changed their. Their refereeing philosophy. Not to say it's why the Zebras are down, but it's unfortunate. It's 50 to 19. Tippecanoe New Valley leads. Kennedy gets away with an elbow in the chest of Tanner Andrews and pulls up from 15 and drains it. And the other thing that's going to do in a game like this is uh-huh. it's going to start to get chippy. Uh huh. You're right. Ben Schreiber from 15. It's good. Ben Schreiber. 52 21. Under two to play in the third. Vikings with the lead. Zebras with the ball. Creighton, DeCamp, who's back in the game. Basham and also Abbott is in the game as well. Basham lowers his head, pushes his way in, kicks it out to Abbott on the right wing. Brett gets a pick in the paint, gives down low to Kennedy. Kennedy over Andrews, no good, gets his own rebound. Now against Britton, he throws a shot up on the glass, no good, rebound being fought for. And it goes out of bounds. We're going to say last touch by Brandon Camp, and it'll go back to the Tippecanoe Valley Vikings. But also by Brandon Camp. I thought on that last, the first post move by Kennedy in that possession, he had Andrews if he would have dropped that baseline and went left. I think he actually turned into the help and made a tougher shot going back to his right. If he went left, I think he could have scored. 90 seconds to play, third quarter. Vikings in control. They're up. 52 to 21. Jump pass to Shriver. Shriver. Down low to Zolman, reverse layup, good and a foul. And now we see the Zebras start attacking each other. This is that obviously a frustration time. Only the first foul for either team in this half. Luke and look at the older guys, got to keep your composure, got to got to keep battling, got to stay together. Um, you know. Got to keep playing the game the right way. That's the important thing, and you want your seniors to lead that way. Zolman completes a three-point play and makes it a 34-point lead for the Vikings at 55-21. to Three on the way for Kennedy's good. 55-24. Quickly ahead to Zolman. Zolman hesitates. Jump past the Shriver in the lane. Ben, leaner, good. 57 24, 55 seconds to play in the third. Driver hits double figures, 10 points for the young man off the bench. Off the bench, yep. And the ball stripped away from Street and gives to Andrews. Tanner Andrews, left side of the floor. He'll go to the basket. Finger roll is up and good. Tanner Andrews. Andrews gets mauled from behind, looks at the official and says, hey, somebody's going to get hurt. 21 for Andrews. 35 to play in the third. 59 24. Valley on top. Abbott. Loses the handle, out of bounds. Vikings going to get a bag. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about down there. You know, something, you know, some kind of call because either coach, if you get somebody hurt in a in a 35 point game, uh, something that's a no call, that, that's, that's yeah. tough to take. Yeah. 17 seconds. Andrews holds on the right wing, gets a pick outside to Little John with. 
12. To Buzzard with 10. Buzzard one dribble with eight. Now to Cheney Zolman with six. To Sh- Shriver with four. Outside of Little John with three. Three on the way with two is short. The putback is no good at the buzzer. After three, the Vikings lead 59-24. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI. For over a century, Rochester Telephone Company has been connecting our community. Family to family, friend to friend, business to business. It is the people of RTC, your friends, your neighbors, who have made the difference. Times may have changed, but our tradition of excellent service still remains in our family of dedicated employees that serve you. RTC, a part of Rochester's past, present, and future. Fourth and final quarter we go here at Tippecanoe Valley High School. The Vikings lead... 59-24 59-24 to 24 and has been, like we said at halftime, Tony, it's been all Vikings since about the six-minute mark of the first quarter. Yeah, that's, that's for sure. Not one of those nights. Camper three is no good, and again, Rochester is one and done as Tanner Andrews in the game. you got to wonder. Now oh. Zolman for three, left baseline, and that's short. Schreiber, the great Brock out, and on the rebound, Camp is going to pick up a foul, and I believe it's going to be before the shot, and it is. Only the second foul for the Zebras for the half. You gotta wonder with Rochester Valley up as big as they are, how many, how much longer we're gonna see the starters as Luke Kennedy got a block on Schreiber and picks up the ball and now runs the point on the right wing. Yeah, the upcoming schedule have, probably has a lot to do with that as well with Rochester playing Captain on Tuesday. I don't know what Valley's got next week. Kennedy just chucks up a three, and fortunately for the Zebras, are going to keep possession as the Vikings uh, knock the rebound out of bounds. One of the things as a coach, though, you'll find out here, is you find out a lot about your team. It, it's easy to, to be tight and be, be solid when things are going well, but in these really, really bad nights, you reveal as much of your character uh, about you and your team as you do when things are going well. So coach is probably challenging, just wants to see who wants to play, who's going to fight through, who's going to battle through, because there's still a lot of season left for these guys. Andrews? Oh, throws up a prayer in the lane. That one, first one tonight, didn't go. Brett Abbott with the rebound and run. Abbott kicks it to camp. Gives down low to Kennedy. Kennedy on the block against Andrews. Turnaround jumper over. Andrews is no good. He gets the rebound and runs, and now Kennedy is going to be a, called for a foul. It's going to be Luke's fourth. But only the team third. Yep. Same thing here, yeah. You want to get, hopefully, keep working your offense the plays you want. Get stuff within your offense. Try to get some building blocks. Now, here's your point where now you're trying to get something positive for the next game. Yeah. Let, let's, let's finish something that we can take into Captain on Tuesday night and say, okay, let's build on this. Let's, let's get this next six minutes and find something we can use going forward. So, Vikings have it. Andrews in the paint. Fouled going to the basket, and Luke Kennedy is done. Yeah. Luke's going to finish the game with uh, nine points, so he's not going to make it to double figures. So Luke is fouled out, and he's done. He'll come to the bench. Taylor Medina comes back in. Alec Holland comes back in, screaming to come out. 6.44 to play in the game, 59-24. The Vikings lead and got the basketball underneath their own basket. Zolman gets the shot inside. He's fouled on the shot, and he'll go to the line to shoot two. I believe Matt Basham's going to be the culprit. Yep, just Basham's first, team's fifth. A little on your side, trying to contest the shot. Number 32, Basham, Basham, fifth, And now Coach Patrick will go to the bench, and he'll send in Aaron Huff, uh, Huffman, Hoffman, that is. I'm sorry. And he'll come in now. Unless he's coming in for the shooter, he is. Zolman makes the first one. He'll have one more. Cheney Zolman second on the way. No good. And the rebound to Basham. Holland runs. Ahead to Camp. Camp behind his back. Cut off. Gives to Basham in the lane. Throws up a shot. Foul on the shot. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Foul going to be on Zolman. His first. And Valley's first foul the second half. So, hmm, this is this is what I see. And maybe I'm all, way off the mark. I could see because they're playing as hard as they are. Basham makes the first one. Maybe a Brandon Camp and a Matt Basham in the starting lineup on Tuesday. 
You never know. I mean, coach, you know, coach knows what he's looking for, what he what he thinks, and um, you know when you go back and watch film, the eye in the sky doesn't lie, and me learn a lot. Basham connects on both of them. Zolman and Andrews is out. I'm guessing probably for the game, but who knows? I would hope so. 60 to 26, Valley on top. Shriver on the double team has it knocked out of bounds like. Basham, and it will stay with the Vikings baseline right. Andrews is going to finish with 21. Little John looks to get it in. Does so to wide open Zolman, or make that Shriver. He loses it. Abbott has it. Right side to camp. Back to Abbott. Drives the paint. Leaner on the way. is good. Oh, Brett Abbott. Abbott. So he uses some body control in the air to get that one to go in. And cuts this lead to 32. Seven Zebras have scored tonight. Shriver against Abbott. Goes to the basket. Throws up a shot. No foul. A lot of contact. Offensive rebound for Tipping New Valley. It's going to be a tie-up. And the Vikings will keep it as Robbie Groom will come back into the game. You know, the last move Abbott just made is something I think he really add, can add to this offense moving forward. And that's somebody that can, can create off the dribble. He's not a point guard, but, you know, they spot-up shooters, post players, the Zebras kind of need somebody that kind of can create their own offense, maybe off the bounce. That was a nice move by Abbott to do that. Jack Rupley's whistle broke for crying out loud. That's what we're waiting for. Under six to play in the game. 60 to 28. The Vikings lead. And Little John will look to get it in. And we're still waiting for the official to fix his whistle. I think he's got some assistance from the other guy, though. Good heavens. Let's make it appropriate and get all three guys trying to figure this out. <laughs> well, the other cat underneath the basket showed up two minutes before the game started. Mm -hmm. He's still trying to find his game legs. <laughs> Little John will look to get it in. Guess the scores? Yeah. Shriver over Abbott. It's good. Boy, Ben Shriver, have a night. Four points for the young man off the bench. Feeds down a little Basham. Basham is fouled on the shot. He'll go to the line to shoot two, and I believe Neil Clampett, who just came in the game, will pick up that foul. His first, team second. Basham's going to go to the line. He's got two points and two for two from the line so far. Some scores in boys' action in the third quarter. Culver 44, Triton 40. Wabash 23, Manchester 17. Boys score half. Also at half, boys score Lewis Cass 48, Pioneer 11. Uh, Warsaw 39, Goshen 29, boys end of the third. An update, Culver 31, no, 6, 51, 51. Culver, Triton, boys, three minutes left in regulation. Wow. Good action. Non-conference, right? Culver, Triton? Is that the Mike County as well? No, that's that's conference. Oh, okay. Mike County starts next week, okay. uh, Monday, Tuesday, whenever. Yeah. So Basham hits both of them. Four for four for the young man from the line tonight. 62 to 30. Vikings on top with five and a half to play in the game. Shriver gives top to Groom. Left side to Buzzard. Buzzard to Shriver in the paint. Gives it back to Groom. Right side to Clampett. Clampett against Basham. To Buzzard quickly high on the left side to Groom. Groom holds. Bounce pass to Hoffman. Hoffman one dribble against Taylor Medina. Now to uh, Buzzard. Five minutes to play in the ball game, and Valley looking just to run some clock here as they're up by 32. And the pass is kicked away by Matt Basham. Really like Basham's approach here in the fourth quarter, just really competing, playing the game the right way, you know, trying to make some strong moves aggressively, defensively. He's in the right spot, rebounding that time, trying to get a kickball deflection. Uh, playing really hard out there. Yep. And then Camp steals the basketball. Layup is on the way. He's nice. on the shot. He'll go to the line to shoot two, and Robbie Groom will pick up the foul. Yes, nice. Nice anticipation by uh, Brandon Camp, another kid that you know will play pretty hard all the way through the end. This is his opportunity. Uh, Camp has four points. So far, he's got a three and a free throw. Camp free throw is good. 4.57 to play in the game. Vikings in control of this one here at Tippecanoe Valley High School. Tomorrow night, our next broadcast conference game as the Rochester Lady Zebras host the Tippecanoe Valley Lady Vikings. The free throw no good. Medina with the rebound. The putback is blocked. Picked up by Shriver. 
And Robbie Groom gets it up the floor against Camp, who gives the buzzer to a wide open Hoffman. He misses the layup, gets his own rebound, and Taylor Medina fouls him on the rebound. It'll be out of bounds to the Vikings. Nice contest by Medina on the first shot. He just forgot to block up the shooter and gave up the <laughs> offensive rebound. And then, as often happens, you give up an offensive rebound, a foul's usually foul. coming. Yep, you're right. Groom, his bounce pass is knocked out of bounds by Abbott. And we'll try it again, this time baseline left. 440 to play in the game, 62-31, Tippecanoe Valley. Robbie Groom gets it in to Hoffman. Hoffman. Around the defense to Groom, left wing to Shriver, top to Buzzard. Buzzard against Holland. Left side to Groom. Now behind the arc to Hoffman. Aaron Hoffman, a dribble to Buzzard. Buzzard holds the top of the key. In against Holland, now between the rings. Gives high on the left side to clamp it. Bounce pass on the near side to Groom. Valley just looking to run some clock as they're up comfortably right now. The ball is loose. And Medina. Thought he had a guy streaking to the basket. Holland fell down, tried to recover defensively. Did not realize that uh, Rochester had the basketball, and then Medina throws it out of bounds. Yeah, Holland went for the steal. Didn't think, you know, knew he didn't get it. Was trying to hustle back the other play. Just kind of blindly turned around, and Medina made the steal and thought yeah, Holland was still going. Good intentions by both players. Alec Craig comes into the game for the first time for Tippecanoe Valley. He had 14 of the JV game. And the JV game went to Tipping New Valley over Rochester, 43 to 22. And I believe Taylor Medina just picked up another foul. Yep, it's going to be his fourth, team seventh. Dom Thomas getting ready to check in. Four minutes to play in the game. Dom Thomas in, Matt Basham, who I think has had a pretty good game. I'm not sure what it says in the scorebook, but it doesn't matter, I guess. Like at this point, he, he, he hustled, I think, the entire time he was in there. He did. He battled uh, four points, four for four from the free throw line. First one by Hoffman is good. One more coming for the Vikings. Second one, no good in and out. Rebound fought for, and I think we're going to have a foul on the rebound. Is that going to be by Shriver? I think so. Good call. His first, team fourth. His first, team fourth. 3.58 to play in the game. Valley up by 32. The Zebras have it going to our left. Holland through the center circle. Works the high on the right side against Buzzard in the man-to-man -man defense to Thomas. Dom, left side to Abbott, who stands behind the arc about five feet. Couple of dribbles at the elbow now to Camp, and he travels. Good call. He's quick. As Coach has said before, sometimes his feet get out ahead of him. So quick. Uh, game's still kind of fast for him. He doesn't have a whole lot of experience, but uh, he's had a good good stretch these last couple games. The Whitco game last Friday, and I think he's played fairly solidly tonight as well. Craig gets it across the timeline for the Vikings. To clamp it. Bounce pass to Hoffman. Back quickly to Shriver, who's still in the basketball game with three and a half to play. Clamp it. Down little Hoffman. Dribbles away from the basket. Down the right wing. In the corner. To Clamp it, out of Craig, back to clamp it. He'll fire a three right side, nope. And the rebound to Holland. Alec Holland fills the middle of the floor for the Zebras, hesitates, now accelerates outside of Medina. Medina, finger roll, no good. Rebound to clamp it for Tippecanoe Valley. They run to our right. Valley, a three on one break. In the lane is clamp it, throws up a shot, no good. Ball being kicked around, Hoffman comes out of there with it. And he'll back it out and reset for the Vikings. Now to Craig, 2.50 to play in the game. Buzzard works against Alec Holland. Outside to clamp it. Bounce pass top of the key to Shriver with 2.35 to play to Hoffman. To Buzzard. Around the pick. Left elbow shot on the way for Buzzard. Short. Rebound to Holland. Alec runs for Rochester. Holland kicks it out to Abbott. Abbott now in the paint. Stop. Dump pass down low to Medina. He shoots. Good and a foul. Nice use of the bounce pass by Brett Abbott. Nice use of the head and shoulder fake by Taylor Medina. He's going to get rewarded with an and one. 2.18 to play in the game. 63-33. Valley. And Medina at the line for one free throw. Let's 
Medina completes the three-point play of the freebie. Matt Basham comes back into the game, and now Coach Patrick will clear all the varsity players as Alex Stammen comes into the game. Derek Cunningham also into the game for the Vikings. Tony Stasiak, I'm David Musselman. Zebras don't have a lot of points, but they have had eight guys score tonight. Silver lining. 2-10 to play in the basketball game, 63-34. Hoffman holds against Holland, now drives it outside to Clampett. Clampett for the Vikings against Dom Thomas. Gives it to Craig. Alec Craig picks up the basketball and gives top of the key to Salmon. Back to Hoffman. Hoffman fakes right, drives it left. Outside to Cunningham, drives the baseline, cut off out there to Clampett. To Hoffman with a minute 40 to play in the game. Valley going to improve to 8-2 and two overall and a perfect 3-0 and oh in the TRC. And now Alec Craig is going to be fouled by Brandon Camp, and that's going to send Craig to the line for one of the bonus for the Vikings with a minute 36 to play. Camp's third, team's eighth. Alec Craig is the line for the Vikings, shooting one and one. Alec Craig, a 5'9 freshman, misses the free throw. Hoffman's putback is no good, but the putback by Craig is good. Alec Craig. And 65-34, and Craig comes up limping for the Vikings. Eight Valley Vikings players have scored tonight as well. Really? That's yep. it? Yeah. Huh. Well, when you have 21 from Andrews and 15 from Zolman and 12 from uh, Schreiber. Yeah, true. Most of your heavy lifting there. Bashman's foul as he goes to the basket, and he'll go to the line to shoot two from the Zebras. 72 seconds to play in the game. Bashman's free throw is no good. He'll have one more. First miss tonight. First miss. Four for five. One more coming for Basham. No dribble. Grabs the ball from the official. Takes the shot. No good. Rebound to Hoffman for the Vikings, and he runs it up the floor. Hoffman's against Abbott. 65 seconds to play in the game. Craig. Alec Craig left side to clamp it, who gives back to Craig. Under 50 to play in the game. Craig grosses over dribble, works to the right side, pulls it back outside for the Vikings. Now to clamp it, about top of the key. 65-34 Vikings. The time ticking away here at Tippecanoe Valley High School. Craig against the double team. Gets it through the double team to Hoffman with 38. Clamp it. Around Dom Thomas with 30. Still with the basketball. Picks up his dribble now to Craig with 25. Craig dribbles away from camp. Oh, and carries the ball. Yep. Nice effort by Brandon Camp to stay on the ball. He's trying to make it uncomfortable for the dribbler. He's going to get some help from Basham and force a turnover. 23 seconds to play in the game. 65-34. Holland with 15, goes to the basket, left hand to layup, good and a foul. Fourteen point nine to play in the game. It's 65-36. And Alec Hahn to the line for one free throw. Trying to get his fifth point of the night. Free throw by the sophomore is short. Rebound by Hoffman. And he'll have to get it across the timeline here. They finally do to clamp it with five. Clamp it, holds, dribbles away from the double team with one, and that'll do it. The final at Tipping New Valley High School. The Vikings 65, the Zebra 36. Post game show up next on 92.1 WROI.